Hiya, <clears throat> this is a quick video on how to do um, how to swap out 2D texture maps and keyframe them for doing things like lip sync or expressions on a character. So rather than building geometry, you can use um, images and replace your image um, or keyframe your images to do lip sync or expressions or eye blinks or something like that. Sort of thing you'd see in Pokio or whatever. Um, in my previous video, I was having a look at um, the material morpher, which didn't show you in the viewport, so it wasn't really that cool. Um, and also using the composite map, which um, would work in Mental Ray, unlike the material morpher, um, but you still couldn't see it in the viewport. So this is the way to do it. Now, um, what I was looking at last time was that. Uh, we could have all different materials and we could still see them in the viewport. We couldn't animate um, the idea of selecting different materials. But of course, stupidly, one forgot that we have material IDs. So we've got 15 material IDs to play with. Um, and there is a way of uh, setting that up so you can use that to animate materials. So what you do, you create a multi sub object material. So uh, standard going in here and you say no I want to use a multi sub object material like this and hit OK and we can discard the old material and you end up with all these guys so that's what I've got over here I've set mine down to um, 6 I'm going to make it 5 in a minute and then I'm going to go and put in different texture maps per object ID um, so my last one I um, don't currently have it done here so I'm going to copy uh, one more easy way of um, setting these up rather than going in and making if you make one material that's the right way of doing it all you want to then do is swap out the um, the texture that's corresponding to the uh, to a different uh, face shape for instance make one that's all good and groovy and then just copy and paste it over so if I go to this U one I want my last one which is a T form haven't done it if I just click and drag and drop and so I'm going to make a copy not an instance a copy so it's different and say so, yeah and then I can go into uh, OO standard and then all I need to do is find the PNG file which is down here and hit view image sorry not view image hit image and I'm going to go and say smiley teeth okay go up one so currently it's called OO let's change that to teeth I'm going to go up one more this is going to show that we've got you can also give it a name here so you can see what you're looking at here Right, let's uh, delete all the keyframes. That's a good idea. So um, you can use um, Auto Key uh, to animate this, but um, preferred probably is to do um, setting keyframes. So at the moment, um, well, I've got six in my material slot. Let's go and set the number down to five because I only need five. So I've got five materials doing different mouth shapes. Um, I've applied this to this over here, so that's applied over here. What I've got on here on my edit poly I've added a material modifier you find that down here under M for material material modifier and all the material modifier does it's it allows you to set a material ID which guess what if you can dial up and dial down you can change those um, IDs and therefore change the face shape. Uh, to animate this all we're going to do is animate the spinner so um, we're going to go uh, set key for what we're going to do and do here now um, under key filters down the bottom going to open that up and all I'm going to be keying um, is modifiers now you th you think you'd be your your keying a material change so you want to go and key materials which is not right because we're actually keying the material modifier okay so all we're going to do is key this so that's the only thing we need to be um, on in here keeps everything nice and clean when you look in your curve editor. The other thing I want to do is the type of key I want to set is basically uh, da, 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 one of these keys here which is a, if it decides to tell me, it basically switches, it doesn't interpolate, it holds um, it holds that key until it finds another key then swaps out straight away which is the type of thing you want for lip sync really. You don't want it blending from one material to another. Okay so um, material ID 1 Let's go to frame, frame 5. I'm just going to go to material ID. Actually, go back to material ID 1, frame 0. We need to see, set a key. Got a keyframe. Going to go to frame 5. Going to go to material ID 2, set a keyframe. Go to frame 10, so it's 3, set a keyframe. And then 
four. I'm going to go and set a keyframe there. And five. Set a keyframe. And then we're going to go back to one. Set a keyframe. Right, so what we've got now is mouth shapes that work in the viewport. And that is what exactly what we wanted, which is... <sighs> hello. Um, awesome, because that's exactly what you want, isn't it? So the only downside to this that I can see is that um, the, the amount of material IDs available to you is 15. So that's, that's your limit. You can only have 15 material IDs. I would uh, suspect you can have multiple materials with multiple 15 IDs and you will be fine. should be fine because you're using this material, aren't you, that's on this object uh, that you're going swapping through. So um should be okay. All right, so I think that is what we're looking at. And um, yeah, we're all good to go. The only thing you need to make sure is each of your materials that you're going to say um, this material is applied to that object. Okay, but in in each sub material, yeah, please make sure that you've uh, say show your map in the in the viewport, and then it's going to update that. If it doesn't, if you don't do that to each each one of these things, then it won't show. Yeah, so you need to have that shown then it's going to go and display in the viewport as well. So all of these have it shown in the viewport there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it. So um, we have animated mouth shapes in the viewport, which is exactly what I wanted. Hi de hi and ho de ho. So happy, happy, happy. The next thing I'm going to have a look at is multiple objects with multiple RDs, just to check that this isn't going to fall over when we get to more than 15 different IDs. I'm just going to go and check that and uh, do a quick video on that. So um, yeah. Happy, happy. Catch you in a bit. Cheers. Bye.